Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica and today we are going to be doing my July TBR. So I am not going to be doing the TBR jar this month just because I have so many books that I want to get to for various reasons and there's more on my TBR already that I know I'm going to be able to read. If I picked from the jar, I just know that I would prioritize these other books anyways, so it's kind of pointless, but I'm hoping that the TBR jar can come back next month and we can do that because it's a lot of fun. I think it's fun. I have fun doing it, but this month I'm not going to be doing it. I can't believe it's July already. Uh, it does not feel like July here at all. I live in Maine and it has rained for the last month not even joking it's raining for like a month and it's been kind of depressing honestly so let's hope july warms up and the sun comes out because i need that badly all right so i guess i'll start with the books that i'm in the middle of and then we'll go from there so i'm currently reading like four books right now i am feeling slumpy so Sometimes it helps for me to just pick up some different things and try out some different genres and see which one catches my attention. So anyways, I'm currently in the middle of Redeeming Six. This is the fourth book in the Boys of Tommen series, but the second book in Joy and Aoife's story. I'm not very far into this. I haven't picked it up in a while, honestly. Yeah, I'm 87 pages in, but I am enjoying it. I love Joey and Aoife. This is, if you don't know what Boys of Tommen is about, it follows, the first two books follow Shannon and Johnny, and the second two books follow Joey and Aoife. Joey and Shannon are siblings, and they have a really crappy home life, and it's like an abusive household, so definitely check your trigger warnings for it, but it's so, so good. I love it so much, and I'm really, really enjoying it this. They're also like sports romances. So if you like that, and you like emotional books, I think you would like this. I'm also in the middle of Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. So I wanted to give it a try. And then Lachlan at Locke's Library also announced it's going to be her book club pick for her Patreon. So I'm excited to start it. I am like 100 pages into this, I think, and I'm really enjoying it so far. The banter is really good. This is about a princess who, when she's born, it bonds to five dragons. So her dad, the king, like locks her away because that makes her really dangerous. She could overthrow him with the power of her five dragons. Um, and then she like escapes, it goes and hides away and then the commander of like the enemy village to her original village where she's from approaches her and asks to make a deal with her to overthrow her old village and she joins up with him and it's like not really enemies lovers I don't think but just like unlikely pairing and it's been really good so far. I'm also in the middle of The Reckoning, the third book in the Zodiac Academy series. I don't know how far into this I am. Probably like, I'm probably like halfway into this and I'm really, really enjoying it. This is my favorite one in the series so far. I'm not gonna tell you what Zodiac Academy is about because I feel like everyone knows by now. And then I'm also in the middle of a book that I'm reading on my Kindle called Why Are You Here by Brianna Jean, I think is the author's name. And this is a like toxic, angsty romance between this girl and a rapper uh she's always been like a fan a really big fan of this rapper and she meets him at a party one time and they like instantly have this connection and they can't seem to stay away from each other but they are both really broken people and it's definitely toxic and I'm enjoying that a lot I'm 50% into that right now and so the next book out on my TBR this is a three book series which kind of makes me nervous that's kind of long and I already feel like this first book's pretty long, but anyway, so if I like that book, I'm going to go into the second one, which I think is called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a Love Kills series and there's three of them. So if I like that one and want to continue on, I will do that. So those two books are on my TBR as well. I'll put up a picture because I cannot remember what they're called. Okay. And then some other books I want to get this, some other books I want to get to this month are Meet Your Match by Candy Steiner. This is a, it's supposed to be angsty, hockey romance by Miss Candy Center that comes out I think July 11th but don't quote me on that 
but it does come out in July, I know for a fact, and I definitely want to get to this. I love Kenny Steiner, and angsty is my thing, and I love hockey romances, so I'm excited for this one. I also really want to get to Divine Rivals this month. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. It's really blowing up. I don't really know much about it other than it focuses on like workplace rivals. And I think she is writing letters to her brother who's away at war or something. Um, but the letters are actually going to her rival and it's their romance and it sounds amazing. I'm not really sure how it, how the fantasy plays into it. I do know it is a fantasy romance, but I'm not sure how the fantasy aspect goes into it but I'm very excited for this I like I said have not heard anything but amazing things about it so I definitely want to get to that this month and then my buddy read with Victoria and Autumn this month is going to be Things We Left Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros I'm super excited to get to this it was Autumn's pick it's supposed to be really emotional so we'll see if I cry or not I don't really know anything about this either but I want to go into it kind of blind and then physical books I have, I seriously have so many here, but I think I will be able to get audiobooks for most of them. So, or already have the audiobook for most of them. So that's good because I've been a really slow physical reader and I'm already just physically reading a lot of things. So I have here, I need to finish the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa. This last one is Dark Harmony. And yeah, I really want to finish this series out. I've been really enjoying it. This paperback is so floppy. I love it. But yeah, this is the third one in the Bargainer series. I That is a fantasy romance series about a girl or a siren who calls upon this being called the Bargainer who you can make deals with and he will do something for you, but then you owe him a debt. And Callie has racked up a lot of debt. She's called on the bargainer a lot. And then he goes missing for basically seven years. And then he shows up and he wants to collect all of his bargains. And it's fantasy romance and it's really good. I love it. Next, I have Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. I still have not gotten to this book. And I really, really want to. This is by Krista Brabant. And it takes place in the same world as her... Crowns of Nyaxia series and then also this is part of a like author collab and it's a series called Mortal Enemies to Monster Lovers and there was like five different authors or six different authors that all teamed up to write a book and they are like completely standalones but they're all enemies to lovers and I want to read that whole series and Chris is the only author that I read from in that group of authors so it'd be nice to try out some new fantasy romance authors but I need to start with this one and I'm very excited for it I love Krista Broadman so yeah next is the fourth a Zodiac Academy book after I read the third one I want to jump right into the fourth one and keep on rolling with these because I'm really enjoying my time with it so yes this is on the list also Bewitched by Laura Thalassa this is a new release by her that I really want to get to it's about witches and I love witches and I don't know anything else besides that. I know I like Laura Thalassa and I really love witches and it's a fantasy romance, say no more. Then I want to read Hooked by Emily McIntyre. If you don't know, Emily McIntyre was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer and she is going through her chemo journey. And a bunch of people in the book community have come together to show her some support. So I want to read this book to help show my support for her. And I've heard nothing but amazing things. This is a dark Peter Pan retelling and it sounds really awesome. I'm going to be buddy reading this also with Victoria and Autumn. So it should be a fun time. And I have Curse of the Wolf King. This is a YA fantasy romance, Beauty and the Beast retelling. And it's part of a series called Entangled with Fae. Each one is a different fairy tale retelling. And it sounds really good. I really like YA sometimes. Nice, fast, quick, easy to get through. And yeah, so I'm excited for this. I feel like I just went through those so fast. But the last book is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I have read this book before but I never continued on with the series and I really want to read through the whole series this year. That was one of my goals and we're already in June and I or sorry we're already in July and I haven't started yet so I really need to get a move on. I'm going to reread this 
I feel like I remember most of it, but I just want to refresh myself before I just dive into the series. I definitely want to finish up Dark Harmony first though, so I don't have too many series going at once. But yeah, that is my July TBR. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And it's very ambitious and I probably won't get through all of them, but that's okay. We will try. So let me know what you're reading in July. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.